What's up, guys? Right now, um, uh, welcome to another episode of the Owen Box for Disney Infinity as part of Owen's Free Roam. And today will be super cool day. And welcome to episode two of the. Um, so right now, thank you for the support on the on the first episode. You guys have been so I I got almost. I may not have gotten a lot of views, but, uh, hey, about 40 views is better than nothing. So, well, thank you for the, all that support This that you got on the last video. You, you were super duper, uh, very positive. Uh, thank you. Uh, last time we left off at, um, with this windmill and the, the building with the parking lot last time. So I'm looking very cool with the hill, with the windmill, and and the hour. While well, I played as Dash in the previous episode, um, this time I'm playing as Randall from Monsters Incorporated. Um, oh, look at how the the left trigger he can turn invisible. Look at that. I really love that ability. I, I, I because Violet also has that ability, which I will play as her in an episode. Um. If you guys ever request me to, but uh, hey, well, then let's. But, wow! Wow! Oh, that really scary, huh? Because Randall even scares us. I hear a lot of the monsters in characters have that ability. Need a roar! Oh wow! Look at that! Ooh, look at that! When Randall does, oh, Randall, uh, and I got look at that. He rolls like, like a little ball. And I love the way he jumps. Uh, uh, Randall's like super cool uh, ability of character in terms of ability. You know, he, even though he's a family's root. So let me go ahead and get grab my wand. Because it's now it's time to start building today's part of the own box for this episode. So, one, there are a couple things I wanted to address. Because some ideas like a sports arena, a racetrack, uh, the cool cave system, and many more. And, yep, those are the only things I can think of right now. But, hey, well, it's probably going to build... The cave system. Go to build view and go to find my terrain for some more large terrain. Find some small terrain lot. There we are. For these. Now I'm going to go and see if I can find any of my cave pieces. They're my big ones. There we go. Cannon goalie. Grab a canyon device. Oh, 
Oh oh. Spark mode to the rescue. <laughs> Let's move those out of the way. There we go. That should make some room. Another canyon split. The canyon bend. And that's perfect. Spark mode because we can line that up with this thing. Wait, I think there might still be a gap. Here's what the start of the cave looks like. Look at the you can come out, there's the building, um, but it's not over. Uh, come on, there we go. Um, see if I can find We'll use a large flat terrain. You can use that. A flat terrain block or a small flat terrain block. For those. Now let's do the same for the other side. Or those. Because I want more caves on there to make it even more exciting. Because I'm going to want to get this to be like a maze, kind of. N is where I want to make this a challenge. The canyon then. It looks perfect. Treasure grottos that are also very. Let me place it over here so we can get it a little later. Caverns for later, too. Find a cannon gully again. Whoops. Sorry about that. 
Canyon Bend again. Come on. Come on. There. Come on. There we go. So. Then. Canyon Bend. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put a canyon divide instead, on instead. That way. Perfectly positioned. Can you bend? Come on. This looks like a pretty good um, cave so far. That's pretty good. Use a cannon goalie. Come on. There we go. And I don't want to move things out of the way. Move this out of the way too. Get more into these caves. What the hell? Is there like a gap in them? Nope, I guess not. Phew. Another canyon bend. I think we're almost to the part where we... Now we're gonna get a canyon divide. Okay, and now is the part where we get to our treasure. If we can make room for this, then no for it. Come on, there we go. Let's grab our treasure grotto. There we go. Erase this. Now we can get the long flat terrain.
Come on, there we go. And then the small flat again. And that is gonna be where the caves end. But that's not all. Flat terrain block, or... Oops. Sorry about that, there was a phone call about, and I had to decline because, I don't know. Um, come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Just the right amount. We're gonna use a tiny terrain for some tall terrain. Some small terrain blocks. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. I think we're going to need the tiny terrain block. There we go. Delete that tall thing. Exit spark mode. And there we go. And now, I'm gonna go to set piece. We can't put the castle there, that's too big. But we can use our stone arch for. That's a good idea. Or we can use the one of the Pirates of the Caribbean shipwrecks, Pete Boats. Let's use the uh, blue shit, right? That looks pretty cool, I must say. The terrain. Let's see if I can put on the these trees. Huh? On the side of the... Hmm? Now let's do the, the, some fantasy terrain strip on, on the other side. Come on. Come on. So there's only three now. On this side and the four on the other. I guess that makes sense. 
I believe that's it. Um, not all. It was, no, I wouldn't want to decorate this. Uh, the CPs are... You said the customization options for... Um... Like, you can even change the texture, like, for example, Pirate's Terrain Strip. You can change one of them at a time. Set... The other thing you can do is, like, X, you can set your theme, and you block, you place, and you set your theme. Well, like that, we'll have that theme, so I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, I also want to do theme on, which gets all the little clusters to change at one. Now let's go into spark mode and see if I can... treasures to change the texture of the terrain around them. Same thing for this one. And these all the terrain blocks will change the one too. Oops. Come on. Furry treasures and we're going to keep on doing the buried treasures for these. Come on. Now, it's the other side. There we go. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. One more, the theme, Burry Treasure. Whoops. Okay, that's what I wanted. Burry Treasure. Sorry. All right, that's a cool looking cave system. But now we just need something to cover up the holes. Like that. You can try using these flat terrain blocks. Try to rethink this back to Fairy Tale Kingdom for the sake of it. Ah, there we go. Oh. Come on, there we go. Small flat terrain block. To fill up the rest of that. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna cover up the holes like so. Ooh, I want to actually have the cave doors uh, have some decoration, like we did at the hill in the previous episode. So let me see if I can find any waterfalls. Oh, there we go. 
Ah, uh, here's what I wanted. The cave, one of these, uh, cave waterfalls. I'm gonna want to get rid of this plant just to make room for the one the other waterfall. Come on. To make it extra work uh, high enough, let's get these uh, loading waterfalls. Okay, that looks pretty cool. But we need, ooh, we need a special way to enter the cave. Let me see if I can find that set piece for that thing too. Whoops, that's buildings. Ooh, how about since we're talking on the topic of caves, why not put the Cave of Wonders, unless it's too small. Oh yeah, let's use the, I, I thought of Monstro the Whale, but let's use the Cave of Wonders. Actually, I have an idea. Have one of the smaller caves, like this one right here. Cave tunnels. There we go. That fits. Maybe we can add another waterfall on there. Ooh, why not have our waterfall pieces uh, do the track? <laughs> Whoops. All right, now let's um, get our cave of wonders over here. Wait a minute. Thought for decoration we can use the, those mountain pieces. See if I have, like I have these mountain caves right here. That looks pretty cool. Come on, let's see if I can find anything good. Ooh, here's something good. I like this rocky wall jump block. Put all those on each side. And there we go, that looks good. All right, so now that we've got uh, our cave finished, that completes our game. Let's go into the Cave of Wonders and peek on through the year and try to find our way through this maze. Sorry about the foggy quality, but that's okay. That's a dead end. Oh, there's the 
Warhol. That's it. Looks like a dead end. Oh. How do we find our way through this cave? Alright, so let's take a little more over here. And try this. Tools and axe available. We already know that. Wow, mazes are such a maze. Let's try going through here. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, we did it! We made it, found our way through the cave. Look at this, the, all the treasure and the crystal caverns. With our, our entrance is through the waterfall and there's the pirate ship. <laughs> oh, yes. There's the inside of the pirate ship. Just filled with sand and trick gold coin and barrels. And there's a little pipe you can use to climb up to the top of the ship. Oh, I love the Randall's climbing animation. Look, there's the the helm. I think this is might be for the for the Barbosa's pirate ship, I guess. There's the mast, and you're jumping through this hole, and there you are. There you are playing through the sand. And in the sand, with the little trees in the background. But let's go find our way back out now that we found our way uh, to here. We'll find our way to the exit, to the back to the entrance. Hmm. Hmm, let's, let's try going this way. Oh, uh, so, same foggy quality, and I apologize about that. Looks like another dead end. How do we get out of here? Out of this cave. Now, this maze is such a puzzle. Can be a bit of a puzzle. I mean... Puzzles can be a bit of a challenge. Another dead end. They're here. Oh, and I think we found our exit. Yes, sir. So we head on straight through this this tunnel right here. Exit the cave through the Cave of Wonders, and there we are! We can see our windmill hill and our um, building again. There's the cave mountains and mon uh, waterfalls and Cave of Wonders in front of the cave. That's, I love the way that it looks. <laughs> oh, that's like... Alright, so! That's like a good end of this episode with Oh, and I, before, let's pause it for today's save. Uh, let's go to the Owen box. No, because let's see if it was the wrong. Yep, that's the right one. Your previous save will be over, and once we uh already save one and add more further progress to it then it overwrites it to the same one but updated so yes because i think we got the right one owen box oh except click accept because i think they got the right one uh. the game saved all right now that we got the saved that concludes today's episode of the Owens Free Realm uh, Owen Box for Disney Infinity. If you got, make sure you stay tuned in for part three. Yeah, uh, that's going to be very special because I'm planning to do a racetrack side of things. Yep. And the thing is, I and if you guys are, if you guys, want, let me know in the comment section down below what toy box you want to build next. Need to build next in the series. 
I do, I, like I said, I'll be doing the race track, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Also, leave me a quick thumbs up in there. helps a lot. Uh, that would be very highly appreciated if you can drop a like, comment, and subscribe uh, to my channel if you haven't seen any of my other videos or the first episode of Owen's Free Realm, uh, a.k.a. Mm, oh, gracious, why am I blanking out on this? Oh, yeah, it's the uh, Owen box for Disney Infinity. So make sure you're sneaking. Uh, uh, don't, well, thanks for watching. Bye.